Yo, mm-hmm. back from London, from a very unkempt room, a Billy Body bringing the hot news. Boom. That's a hotel. Yeah. It's oh, a is hotel. that a hotel? Yeah. From a very unkempt hotel, Billy Body. Boom. What up? I, I figured like the um, the wrestling fans um, um, find it more believable if your office or your space is a shit state. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen. Uh, have you seen pictures of Meltzer's office? Oh yeah, is it, bro? Bro, let me tell me and oh, Conan. Me and Conan are like the only two podcasters in the wrestling community that don't have dolls and toys and getting trash behind them when they're when they're doing their uh, their, their so podcast. Let, let me tell you this real quick. One day I went to uh, I think it was Stockton Fest. I think that's where it was. What? Right. A, by the way, what a dump Stockton. It like, is. That's, uh, so well, you know, that's, that's what the Diaz brothers come from, right? That's, isn't that right. Well, let me tell you something. Just quick, quick, one 20-second story. Uh, the night that his brother fought, Nate fought Connor, where Nick was banned from ringside, right? The, the Diaz, they, were, they, were, they weren't allowed to go, right? So he couldn't corner him. So Nick Diaz brought his crew to Sapphire. Bro, this it looked like recess at San Quentin. I mean, every guy was tatted up. You know, on, on his head, yeah, his oh, face. Well, so well, I was like, there's like well. eight of them. They looked like chulo, you know, gangs. I, I was yeah. like, it looked a rough. No, Stockton totally is no joke. Crowd, that's you know? a that's a rough, rough place. Anyway, yeah. so um, we went to Stockton, and there was a big UFC fight that night. And I remember Meltzer lived right near there, like in San Jose. Mm-hmm. I forgot who the f- I was with, and I just asked him. I go, hey, bro, are you watching UFC? Are you going to be watching UFC? And he said, yeah. And I said, can I go over and watch it with you? And he said, yeah. So I haven't been to his house. <laughs> Interesting. Sure, oh, what else we got? Oh, you want me to crack on with a oh, story? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, yeah. I heard he's heard. Billy pre- 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 prefaced this before we went on air here. This All right. So All right. I was digging around for a different story, and I ended up with an absolutely humongous story that I'm sure people are going to pick apart. Um, you've got sources. Conan's got sources. You can verify this with people, ask questions, see how much of this is moving in what direction and whatever. So I'm going to give you what I got, and then we're probably going to spend a few weeks trying to pick out the the bones out of this. So the story I tried to get was, did Brock get injured? Did Roman get injured? What was supposed to happen in the match? Were they primarily supposed to bleed? Now, I'm cool with my record of being able to come on here and get things right and whatnot. And I know I said that there was supposed to be blood in that match. And I know it was cut short. So the match being cut short has been verified. The blood part... By who? Sorry? Who, by your source? Or has been... Has yeah, anybody by, else? By, by sources, yeah. The match, the match was cut short. However, okay. the blood was cut out before this match even started. So that whole spot where Lesnar put his gloves off and whatever... That wasn't supposed to lead to to actual blood because the blood was cut out on the day. So it wasn't it, they, they were going to bleed all the way until the day, and the decision was made by Vincent Mann that they weren't going to bleed on the Sunday. So when I asked why, this is when I opened up a box of absolute craziness. So the WWE is for sale. The WWE has been for sale for about three years. They're they're they're, they're willing to listen to offers. George Barrios was fired and Nick Khan was brought in to finalize the sale. This is because under Barrios, the WWE is viewed as being worth only one twelfth of its stock market value due to the fact of the history of steroids, scandal, general perception, lack of knowledge as to where it fits in with advertisers and the death of wrestlers. So the historical, the histor- history of the WWE and whilst run by George Barrios, when trying to tout the company for sale, yes, they have a valuation, but the most anybody would pay for it is one twelfth of what it was, with the main buyer being NBC. This is why Nick Khan came in and took over, because Nick Khan was, it was in talks with NBC, and the understanding is, is that NBC are desperate for the WWE and to clean up WWE. But Nick Khan has began the cleanup operation himself so that he can sell it for much closer than than what it's worth. Now, they're not looking to get the exact amount, but they don't want to sell it for 12 times less. So Nick Khan's primary primary job is to do that. The reason NBC wants it is because of what I was talking to Joe about before we came on the air. NBC own absolutely nothing. 
if you go to the Universal Studios theme park and you see things like uh, Jurassic Park, uh, The Simpsons, Transformers, the only thing that they own are the Minions. Every single thing at NBC is licensed. And at the moment, with the WWE, talks have advanced to the point where they may license some things, but they're nowhere near a sale at the moment. But they're working on it. So when you're talking about licensing, they're talking about NBC owning the physical Hall of Fame and potentially having w a WWE ride in the third theme park that they're now building in Florida. That's as far as we got. But he is there to sell the company and get the, get the valuation up. And NBC are desperate to own something that they're not licensing from somebody else. So this works for everybody. But at the moment, obviously, you're still damaged by death, steroids, general perception, and, and not knowing where it fits in with advertisers. What's Everything the value? Doing, what, what would that company sell for? What would it sell for right now? Yeah, what's to ask? I mean, did you know anything about asking price and uh, offers or any like what's the ballpark? What's like anything like that? But that they would sell now for one for one and a half billion. One and a half billion dollars, which is not how long one, ago which, have they been trying? How long have they been trying to sell this company? Exactly because, three years. No, what once what, hey, they were not before they were not trying, or after Tony Khan started AEW. Um, so they were not trying to sell the company. There was uh, George Barrios. Under George Barris had an offer for the company, and Nick Khan expressed to them that this was not what the company was worth, according to its according to its share value, and uh, and they decided to take on Nick Khan in order to increase the valuation of the company. And this is why you're seeing the sponsorship deals that you're seeing. This is why you're seeing Logan Paul, Bad Bunny, and all this stuff going on. So let me ask you a question: Is it's almost kind of like you know how when somebody. You know how sometimes people, they bring them in, and I forgot the term. There is a term. Um, they'll bring in, and basically what they do is they make the company worth more, like what flipping. Nikon is doing, and then they sell it at a... At yeah, a, flip, flip it, right. Huh? Flipping. Flipping, yeah. Yeah. Is that kind of like what Nikon came in to do? Yeah, Nick Nikon came in to do because... They came in to do that because WWE didn't realize that they were... they. In WWE's world, they thought they were worth what they were worth, and they were interested in selling for that. But once they found out that, that people were only going to pay one twelfth of what the valuation was, because there's obviously stuff tied down to the WWE, and people will people will always turn around and say, "Yeah, you're worth this," but um, there's there's always this issue with the things that you've done and the perception of you. And that's how can it? Is. How can it? Oh, I got I got to call you. Now, I'm not calling you out on this, but I gotta, we, we'll discuss this. How can that company only be worth one point three billion dollars if you're if they're bringing in four, uh, like half a half a billion in rights fees, and another like billion, or uh, uh, how much are they going to make from from Saudi in the in the, over a calendar year? Half a billion, right? Two hundred million. I oh, mean, sorry, uh, Saudi, uh, one hundred and fifty million. Sorry. Okay, so that's like almost seven hundred million dollars of things that you have just set in place right now, and the company's only worth one point three billion. No, I find that I, I think it's, it's worth. I think it's got to be worth way more than that. It's but not worth. Global, it's not, it's not worth one point three billion. It's the, that. That's what somebody wants to buy it for. It's different. Oh, that, okay. So that's that's the basket price. Yeah, it's worth way more than that, bro. Yeah, it's worth. It's trade. It's worth way more I, than that. Yeah, it, like this. It's it's worth. It's worth as much as like that brand being that it's so global. I mean, it's got to be up there on par with like you know. I'd, I'd like to find out these metrics in comparison. Merchandise and stuff. Everything. How does it compare against Manchester United? How does it compare against the New York Yankees? How does it compare against the Dallas Cowboys? How do, like how do these numbers compare against some of the most expensive franchises that we know, like like entertainment sports franchises? Because I would uh, think the fact that they're, they're they go year round. There's never a, a, an off time, an off season. They're cut. They're going all over the planet. I, I think it's got it's got to be worth, bro. If, if a team like if it's, if, if a team like the Washington Generals in the NFL were worth two billion dollars. The, the WWE's got to be worth more than them. That's just my opinion. I'm, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to. I'm actually going to start. I'm going to go to rabbit hole and start looking some of this stuff up and see what it's like, where it stands relative to other other franchises. Like you know. Well, the, 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 this brings me full round to you're probably asking, and which, which is what I asked. Well, how does this? My very first question is, well, why did they take the blood out? And this and this was the long explanation I got within finding all this information. So going back round to the original answer. The decision, the discussion was had on, on Sunday, and Nick Khan's base, Nick Khan's basic discussion with Vincent Mann is: Do you want to go back to this? Do you want to undo what we've done? Do you, do the, do you want the biggest visual out of the biggest show to be 
two guys bleeding because we're trying to move away from what pro wrestling is. We're trying to move away from the blood and the violence and the deaths and the steroids and the carny stuff. And, and that's and, and that's what your comp and that's what your competitions do when they're doing it gratuitously and it looks amateurish. You know, so, so yes, yeah, so you are kind of like marrying yourself to like an amateur concept, you know? Right, which is why internally they knew but, that this this was the only match that they wanted to do it for. But the, but Nick Khan's point to to Rince was and and to whoever was producing producing this was essentially: Do you want to convey this visual on your largest stage when we've worked for three years to increase the valuation of this company with the things that we're doing with the with the bad bunnies, with the Logan Pauls, with the partnerships with with Netflix and everything else that we're doing? Do you want this? Is this visual worth? This much, this much of a monetary drop off for to do it. So, and they decided that it wasn't. So that that's why nobody bled because of the fact that right. this company are in full cleanup mode, and every single thing that they do is is geared towards raising the the price of this company. And when I say that, it's not the price, it's not the worth of the company because that's standing fine in terms of all the deals that they have and everything. It's the what somebody wants to pay for it. Somebody wants to look at it and go. This is not the, the steroid company. This fits in. This isn't a company that doesn't fit in anywhere. This is a company that the entertainment, the ent entertainment entities are interested in and sports want to get involved in it as well. They want everybody to want a piece of the pie, not WWE being this lost entity that sits in the middle because it can be worth, you know, $100 billion, But the fact is, is that nobody will buy it if they don't understand how, how how to run it so this is this is the thing at the moment nbc want this company nbc nbc want it but they wanted it cheap and nick khan is is in there to make sure they don't get it for cheap but they want it badly because nbc own absolutely nothing and at the moment they're moving towards licensing some wwe stuff to see how that fits in with the nbc brand so as i said a, a theme park ride at the third, at the new third park, the Universal building, maybe the first thing that you see, along with NBC owning the physical Hall of Fame. If that all works out, then we may see an offer which is much closer to what McMahon will sell for, which would be around about eight, eight to ten billion. Bro, it's gotta, it's gotta, yeah, eight to ten, right? Eight to ten billion, bro. Because if, yep. if, if UFC was worth four, four point six, WWE is worth way more than UFC. And by the way, way more than they, they are cut, like they are a money, you know that they. That is like a, they print and, money. You know, they have all the big, these revenues. Here's the big Go thing ahead. to check out with the guy with the source that we talked about. Wait, if this deal does go through and they do get the eight to ten million, Nick Khan for doing for working on this is is, is already going to get fifteen percent of the sale on top of his salary. I mean, bro, he's gonna no no. He's gonna run the company. Maybe he's that's it. Run but the company. That's one thing. Jeff, that's one thing. Jeff Cat no told us. About it. He runs. That's the one thing when now. we. Right, he is. He is. That's the one thing Jeff Katz told us. Like we, we I told him we had Jeff Katz on show. He's he's close with Khan. He says Nick Khan absolutely will be the person running that company. And bro, he's already worked with NBC Universal. He's already like you. Know, they they could easily find the price and just bring him. And now he's you know they bought it from Vince and he's he's running the show. You know yeah, that Nick, can Nick, easily happen. Nick Khan runs WWE now simply because uh, Nick Khan is the is the is the man assigned with moving up the valuation. Of WWE, he's he's there to take over from George Barrios and make this company as close as they possibly can to what their real, um, real like trading value is, and what and get a real price to sell. That's what he's there to do. There will be no Triple H. There will be no Stephanie. I'm looking. I'm no looking stage. on. I'm looking on Twitter right now. I'm, I'm looking on Twitter right now. Right, and it says that Elon Musk is decided he's not buying Twitter. He's buying WWE. Is that, is that <laughs> Did you guys a joke? believe that for a second? No, it is a joke. But you believed right. it for a moment. <laughs> You believe it for a moment. Cody, you're not gonna kazoo that? I thought it was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> there's um there's 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 one So that's a, so, one, so this is what we're gonna be watching from now on. There's one but there's one there's one buyer for the WWE. There's one there's one Pete one company that expressed an interest, there's one company that are in the running, there's one company that are gonna license WWE um uh, WWE things from them. Uh where, Jeff Bezos said, and the, Amazon? Sorry? Amazon? What do you say? Amazon? Sorry? No, it's, it's do you know NBC. the company? NBC, NBC, oh, NBC the that's the only one. Interested. Yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. That's a good story, actually. But I don't. Has anybody else reported? No, this? I don't know. No one knows. But no, Nick, 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 Nick. They may know. Joe. They may. They may. Billy Bobby's reporting the WWE. Nick Khan. Nick Khan is completely in charge. I think is the main story yeah. out of that. 
All right, let's go yeah, over. Um, but we got that too. That's all piggybacking on this show. Yeah, yeah. 